Scripture, the finest frontier. These are the voyages of Skylab Omega. It's five month mission to spread the gospel across the galaxy, to share God's love with civilization, to boldly go where one savior has gone before. Come with us now as we blast through the Bible with Commander Cosmos, Space Ranger. Hello, cadets. Allow me to introduce myself, Lieutenant Ruby Starlight, at your service. Ambassador Nofutu has decided to stay on the Skylab Omega to learn more about Jesus. And we are just really worn out having to answer all of his questions, but he finally took a nap. So I decided I'd come up here and study the Bible and try to get a few more answers for him. So I'm gonna get the Bible out right now. Okay. This is about when God changed Saul's heart. He changed his heart? Why was it broken? Well, you could say that in a way. You see, Saul was a powerful Jewish leader, oh. but he didn't believe that Jesus was God's son. In fact, he hated all the followers of Jesus. Oh, haters, back off. You don't be hating Saul. Oh, he was hating. Saul was a devoted Jew, and he thought that Christians were troublemakers, so he persecuted them. <gasps> he hated them just because they had cute purses? Oh, no, no, not cute purses. I said persecution. Oh, not persecution. Oh, anything but persecution. Oh, I hate persecution. Uh, what is persecution? Well, <laughs> persecution is treating people unfairly based on uh, who they are or, or what they believe. Saul had some of Jesus' followers thrown into jail for no good reason. Oh, I bet God had Saul locked up a long time because of that one. Well, actually, no, but um, he did get Saul's attention in a way that he would never forget. Oh, did God send him a text message? Not quite. A Twitter? No. But when Saul was on his way to Damascus, he saw the light. <gasps> Saul went all the way to Damascus? What is a Damascus? Um, <laughs> Damascus is a city. Saul thought that he might find some followers of Jesus there. He oh. wanted to throw them in prison. Oh. So, guess where he went? Oh, uh, let me guess. Was it Damascus? <laughs> That's right. Hooray for me! Oh, what happened next, Ruby Tuesday? Uh, it's Starlight. But anyway, uh, let's have the computer show us. Okay. Uh, computer, yes, please show us what happened on Saul's journey. Okay. Hi, I am Miss Starlight. As he neared Damascus on his journey, yes. suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? I'm so sorry it wasn't me. I didn't oh, wait, no, no, no. What? God's not talking to you. That was what God said to Saul. Wowzy, woo woo. That was scary. Oh, imagine how Saul must have felt. He was blinded by the light and then he fell to the ground. Manfred, man, if I was there, I would be very nervous about that. So, what did Saul do? Uh, he asked, Who are you, Lord? Now, listen to what the Lord said I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. He replied, Now, get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. So God wanted Saul to go into Damascus? Yes, and when Saul stood up, he couldn't see, so his traveling buddies led him to Damascus, and he waited there for three days. What do you think God was doing all that time? I think he was calling Saul to serve Jesus. Oh, but Saul was hurting Christians all the time. I, I, I don't... I think that I just don't understand why God would use somebody like Saul, a naughty boy, to, to serve Jesus. Well, neither could Ananias. Wait a minute, we were talking about Saul. Who is laryngitis? <laughs> Not laryngitis, Ananias. Oh. He was a follower of Jesus who had a vision. Uh, Ananias was afraid of Saul, but in this vision, Jesus told Ananias to go place his hands on Saul so Saul could see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, if that were me, I would say, no way, Hosanna. That Saul guy is always hurting Christians like me. Well, Ani Ananias didn't want to go either, but mm. let's see what Jesus told him in the virtual Bible. Oh, the beepity boops! Can I do the beepity boops? Have a blast! Oh, yay! Beep, 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 beep. Let's see. Um, but the Lord said to Ananias, 
go. This man is my chosen instrument to carry the name before the Gentiles and their kings and before the people of Israel. Oh, so did Tonsilitis go to Saul? Ananias. And he did, and Saul was able to see again. And for the first time in his life, Saul saw Jesus with his heart. How do you know that? Well, because the Bible says that at once, Saul began to preach that Jesus was the Son of God. Oh, but God was calling Saul even though he was a naughty boo-boo? God loved Saul. He had always had a plan for Saul's life. But Saul was a sinner. Are you telling me that God even loves sinners? God loves all people, and he will always try to change the heart of anyone who believes in his son. Well, if God could change a naughty boo-boo like Saul, do you think he could change my heart? I think he would love to change your heart. Well, let's go down to the chapel, and we can pray right now. And after all... Oh, let me see it. Let me see it. Jesus is the same Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, and my...